Lenny here with Eyes on the Game, and I'm here at the Ultimate Fighter Season 25, the cast reveal here with uh, Mehdi Baghdad. Yep. Now, you were just in the UFC, even uh, as recent as two months ago. Now, to be back uh, as a contestant on the Ultimate Fighter, which you've been a contestant before Season 22, how does it feel to be back? It feels feel so great uh, and it's my redemption, you know, redemption means everything for me because uh, when I'm getting in the first time in the house, the Ultimate Fighter 22, I'm getting with my hand broke and I can't train, I can't, I can't do nothing, you know, so, and so when I was fighting, I was fighting with my hand broke and I can't, sh I cannot show who I really are and this is why now it means everything to come back to show all my skill, all my Muay Thai and uh, to show for all my fans who I really are. Now, being in the UFC, though, what did you learn from your time there? Uh, being in UFC is like, uh, is like uh, when you're getting in, in, uh, in UFC, me was my dream. So I left my country 10 years ago to be UFC fighter. I went in Brazil for three years. I go in America to be a, a best fighter and to be in UFC. So when I get in UFC, uh, I, I, I saw my dream and uh, getting in a cage is like, it's mean everything for me. Uh, I was so happy to, to be in. So. I have a short time to be in UFC, so they don't really let my my really chance because I have just one fight with my training camp, and the first fight I did was uh, six day no, and I have to lost 24 pounds. It no was my uh, my chance, you know. I just fight one time in UFC. So after that fight, though, um, did you make any adjustments like to your camp, or are you keeping like the same coaches for the most part? I change I change everything on my camp. Uh, I was a French coach with me, and uh, it was really good. And, and step by step, it, he started to don't like uh, MMA, and he put my brain like really low and all negative. So uh, now, like for eight, one years, I start to, to to be happy to to be MMA fighter, and it's make my brain uh, more hungry to be a champion. So who are you with now? So now I'm uh, with CMMA. Is a Shad La Laraj. In uh, in um, in Gardena in LA, and I still training with Anderson Silva, the the ex champion. So he's taught you a lot. I'm I'm assuming, right? But me Anderson Silva is uh, I was training with him seven years ago in Brazil, and I keep training and training. Uh, he used me for sparring, so I take all his experience with me, and he make me uh, he make me want to be a champion because he he told me every time, "Made you a champion, you just have to believe that." And now I start to believe step by step. So you need a more long time to to believe you're a champion. So has he given you uh, advice going into uh, this season of the Ultimate Fighter? He showed me a lot of new technique, new stuff, because he's a striker, I'm a striker, he's a Muay Thai champion, I'm the Muay Thai champion, and, and he believes a lot of me. So after he said, it's just about you. Uh, you have to believe who you are. You train with me every time, you lightweight, and uh, and look with who you train, and you have a, it's really hard to train with you, you're really good. So just believe in that, and uh, he said, for Tough 25, is redemption, you have to go and show who you really are. So it's why I'm now I'm here and I'm really happy to be here. And what should the fans who watch this season expect from you? My Muay Thai, my Muay Thai skills, uh, like like Anderson Silva show for all UFC time, and uh, and not just uh, not just all my all my skill. I'm training for 14 years MMA right now. I went all the country in the world for learn MMA. I left my country like I'm saying. Uh, I was training for three years in uh, Team Quest with Dan Henderson because he's Dan Henderson bring me in America and I want to show all my really skill I have because a lot of fight, a lot of people say oh maybe he's not good on the ground because they don't know me so I'm I'm good on everything so uh, I just want to show all my fans I'm good on everything and all my country and friends I'm, I'm going to show who I'm really are. Yeah, and, and your versatility, like like you mentioned. Um, but lastly, um, like I mentioned before, you were on the Ultimate Fighter season 22 on Conor McGregor's team. I mean, what do you think about all the talk uh, in regards to him and Floyd Mayweather? Do you think it, it's just talk? You know what? Uh, every time I heard what's what's happened now for for two months, we know her anything. But I hope the fight is coming. I, I'm not talking. So you want the fight to happen? I want, 
for MMA, you know, I want for MMA fan. I want uh, because if the fight happen, it's good for us for MMA because the MMA is going to be bigger. I don't care about uh, who's going to be uh, the winner. Floyd Mayweather is a is a legend of of boxing. Conor McGregor can cannot beat him. Uh, is we have to be uh, serious right now. So, but it's going to be big. We go to win in MMA. We go to win some fan of boxing. So this is what I want, you know. I want take all the fan boxing, all fan of Mayweather, and this is what I want. It's going to be uh, MMA a little bit bigger if the fan happen.